One day, I was bored on the internet. That was until I found a video about a logo of PBS, Public Broadcasting Service, which was originally NET, the National Educational Television Network. I've decided to watch it, but then after seeing it, a strange idea came over me. I downloaded some of the old PBS programs from 1952. At that time, it was NET. I searched everywhere, and eventually found one more. I cannot remember what it was though. When I watched the video, something weird happened. At the end, instead of the logo of the NET, there was a logo of PBS. Seriously? I said to myself. It was impossible that they could have used the PBS logo in those years. In a way, it was very strange and disturbing. The logo was similar to that of the 1971 logo, but it was in black and white. It also did not show the words Public Broadcasting Service under the logo. Out of everything however, it was mostly the music that weirded me out. I already understood that NET had become PBS, but why was the head with the form of a P in 1952? I do not know why, but by the next day I decided to upload it to YouTube. I cut out the logo from the clip with Windows Movie Maker. When I opened the video, there was the logo of PBS, but it was for NET. The page where I downloaded the video from had been deleted. That was when I discovered that many of the people who had seen the logo with black and white TVs had died. Another day on YouTube, I found a video called, PBS Freakout, in which there was as an image of the logo that I had seen. I opened it, only to see the logo was just what I had seen. Obviously he had seen the logo before or after me. I heard someone moaning, I opened the door to find someone deceased. The head was decomposed, it had three wounds on his waist and his feet and hands were missing. It had a note, and I read it. It said. Jackson Marcus. 2001. We will miss you. I was so shocked to find that body just for watching a logo.